What's good, YouTube land? The Reclector here. So, Generations Selects. Why? But this is smokescreen. He comes in this very unappealing brown cardboard box. This looks like the thing uh, Fun Pub used to put their convention exclusive repaints in. Now it's just for uh, Hasbro to put their exclusive repaints in. But it does say it does have the War for Cybertron Siege logo along with a giant black Autobot symbol and whatever this is supposed to mean along with the trilogy again. Who, who it is on the side, Deluxe Class Smokescreen. Manufactured under license from Tomy. Blah, 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 Takara Tomy, blah, blah, blah. Hasbro Canada, blah, 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 made in Vietnam. Accessories, three figure, three accessories and instructions. And on the bottom, nothing. It's in, just a blank cardboard box. And you open it up and... Din -din -din -din. It's... Well, uh, some kind of pattern right here, first off, but also smoke screen right in there. Here's the figure. There are the weapons, excuse me, accessories, and the instructions right behind him. Smoke screen is well. He's, he's the third brother in this set. He's the one who gets left off in favor of Prowl and Blue Streak. Normally, at least Prowl. Pro Blue Streak is always been a repaint. Except when he had, the only times he's gotten his like a, a unique figures, they've looked nothing like Smokescreen. Got the freaking double uh, twisty tied these accessories. And there are also instructions in there that I don't need. So let's weapon him up. Uh, his brother Prowl has one, has it in the right hand. Smokescreen has it in the left hand. We're going to give him to him in the left. Even though it, there's way more, at least going by human numbers, there's way more of a chance of him being a righty. And then we take the other two pieces, plug them in top, and there is Smokescreen, a new generation style Smokescreen. And, well, Uh, my feelings towards him are pretty much the same as Prowl and Blue Streak. I don't hate this mold. It's not the worst mold. It's not the best mold, but it's it's an okay, if like decent, good action figure. Um, the new the thing that's new for him besides the white on his shoulder mounted bazookas, which Prowl, I'm still mad that Prowl doesn't get those, is his uh, head. It's a different head sculpt compared to, well, let's get Prowl. Let's get Blue Streak. We have all three of the these brothers in this most recent form. And, um, 
I don't have any idea who the best one is. But yeah, this this head sculpt is very accurate to Blue Streak with the the double chin look. This is definitely the head they remolded for uh, the bad guy barricade version, which I still don't know if I'm going to pick that up. I've heard horror stories, though, about his paint from fellow uh, Transformers fans. That's like a very, it's like a risk buying him because, well, because you can't open up the package without tearing the, the sticker. So you don't know right up, offhand whether the silver paint's going to be all there or it's going to be missing pieces, like... Yeah, I heard horror stories from one guy who had like pictures of like how bad the face, the paint on the face was. But I got lucky. He does have kind of hard to see, but there are there darker blue eyes. The yellow um, on his crown is accurate. My biggest complaint visually is there's red up here. There's no red on his body. Smokescreen's color scheme is predominantly red, white, and blue. Predominantly blue, but he's no, he doesn't normally have this much gray or black accents. He's normally... Uh, well, at least in my mind. I kind of wish the red that's incorporate like, that makes up his vehicle mode, was incorporated more into the robot mode. Really, it's only bit is like right here, and even then, it's covered up. Like it does a cool thing. Like if I went from vehicle to robot, you'd see just how much of a visual difference the two modes make, just in color scheme alone. But yeah, I kind of missing that pop of red everywhere else. But he does have an Autobot symbol right there. Character wise, all I know about Blue Streak is he's a gambler, really. Like, he, he's, from what I've heard, he's a gambler. Uh, I don't even know if I ever mentioned, but there are actually hard points, or th there are three, three millimeter pegs on the backs of these guns and the front. So you could put effect parts coming out. You could... Uh-huh. I said that. That is a thing that I said. Uh, Like, for... Uh, muzzle flash or out the back for some reason uh there's also ones on his shoulders on his butt on his uh forearms and that's about it for robot mode on that he does have quite a bit of detail and the usual gun but painted all in white it's actually molded, it's blue plastic, because you can see the unpainted section being blue, but it's white. Articulation-wise, I still wish these wing, the wing flaps had a up and down axis of motion, but heads on a pole joint. Um, do you get, uh, me, whoa. Up and down, a little bit side to side, full swivel, shoulders, outward, and these are seem to be the weakest of the three of this mold that I have. Like they tend to go down, fold down a bit easier than the other ones, but they go all forward and backwards, sideways. Do you have a bicep swivel? Along with your 90 degree elbow, waist, uh, hips, forward, backwards. Strange thing on mine, this one is like, this hip is pretty smooth. You don't really hear the detents, but this one, you hear the detents. So. I don't know about that. Uh, thigh swivel, limited, 
as it always has been. Very nice bend of the knee. If your sideways ankle tilts along with your somewhat forward and backwards, can't do much, but it's mostly for transmission, along with the hinge at the heel spur, again, for transmission. But I've talked about this mold so much, I'm kind of, like, I don't know, I'm, I think I'm over this mold. It was not, it's nice to get it, to have all three brothers, but I, I have real no desire for barricade. And I kind of hoping they put this mold to rest for a while with uh, Earthrise coming out. So the only other mold that's getting reused is the uh, Iron Eye slash Ratchet for crosshairs, which looks really cool. But other than that, i kind of glad that we're moving on from Siege. Because overall, I've really enjoyed Siege. It's one of the best Transformers lines in a long time. But they kind of relied not as much as Combiner Wars on repaints, but still. I wish there were less repaints. Like, I understand the limit, the repaints they did, because the, the trio makes sense, the Seekers kind of make sense, the uh, Ratchet and Ironhide make sense. I don't know. But let's get him transformed. We'll see what he looks like in that mode. So fold up Heel Spurs. Fold in these pieces, plug them together, rotate the waist, pop up all the way, fold that forward, fold that in, hinge, uh, we'll just do that, um, nope, uh, double hinge that so it's all the way back. Fold it in. Hook, hook, hook. Nope, hook, hook, hook. And then fold that all the way up. Oh, come on, what are we doing? Yeah, you know, that uh, tab it in. What is. This worked before you, I, like, I, I checked it before the review. I don't know what's going on. Come on. There we go. And there you go. Here, let's just do all three. Because that's going to be fun. Triple the transformation. Oh. I don't know why psychosocial suddenly went start going through my mind, but my mind works in ways even I don't understand sometimes. Ugh, there we go. That's two. Uh, word. Uh, yep. Oh, his gun is the same exact paint scheme as Prowl's, except probably molded in different uh, colored plastic. Yeah, this this one's actually painted like completely molded in white, while Smoke Screens is molded blue, painted white. I don't understand why. This this one's molded in gray and painted silver. Like, all right, now we've got blue streak. Okay. Yes, yeah, psychosocial is just 
going through my head for I don't know what reason. I don't listen to psychosocial. I'm not like a metalhead or anything. Just suddenly like and the rain. Oh, like terrible team. Dead air. Entertaining. I'm just singing psychosocial to myself. <laughs> I don't know why. But now we have three cars. Actually, well, kind of surprised that they were able to make the remold happen without his head getting in the way. But yeah, now you see where the red went in uh. The red that I was talking about, it goes all the way up the top. It does look very nice. It's a kind of a duller, almost maroon shade of red. It's not the usual Autobot bright red. But I guess it counteracts with the bright blue and the white. Now, he does have Cybertron, uh, Cybertronian on him, but if he were on Earth, he would have like. 38s and uh, like references to things like when at least the masterpiece does like it has a reference to his mate his job things like that the the uh, iconic not good you're a slot fever because he's a gambler so it's funny because it ruins people's lives but uh yeah here we see let me remove the gun so you can get a better shot of the car mode this this white does resemble like kind of the white paint app kind of hints at the idea because uh the original character had like an extra chunk under his hood at least like the g1 aesthetic in the uh, masterpiece does like a half cup uh Hood for training bra sort of deal. And I guess that paint app is supposed to represent that. Because otherwise it's completely pointless. And I was, before I transformed this toy, I was all ready to make jokes about his color scheme referencing national flags. But, like, like he's Dutch, he's French, he's, mm -hmm. he's Yugoslavian. But it doesn't work because the colors aren't in that nice uh, proportion to make it look like a flag. Wait. Is the Dutch... Mm. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, red, red, white, blue. In that, yeah, he is, he is kind of Dutch. He is definitely that color scheme. It's like, it barely comes across, but it does. Um, so basically, what you're paying for in Generation Selects is the uh, color, is the paint. Because they're, I think they're willing to sl lather more paint, like a premium paint job, compared to this guy who has basically... No headlights. Or this guy. It's please. I think that's really like the repaints paint job is really the only thing you're paying for. Versus on the shelf. Like I swear both like Prowl has been the only I don't want to say main, like mainline regularly available one, but like both of these guys were available in subsets. Like this guy is Generation Selects. This guy was the 30th anniversary, only like only found in Walmart. It's like Prowl was the only one that you could actually get at most major retailers. 
It's such a shame that he did not come with the uh, collarbone shoulder guns. Collarbone, shoulder, same thing. Like, he should have come with them. It's unfortunate, but... Um... Do I recommend Smokescreen? Well, if you're a completionist, you might be worth trying to track down. Your best bet might be on Big Bad Toy Store. Because he's not going to be available in regular stores like Walmart or Toys R Us or things like that. So, like, online, or if you know somebody, like I know Adam, my buddy at the... Uh, runs the Age of Transformers, a little uh, vintage toy shop who goes to conventions, whose card, business card I did have, but I left somewhere else. So my bad. But yeah, if you know somebody like that who happens to get these in, then that's your opportunity. But otherwise, if you're looking for one of them, either Prowl or Blue Streak. Prowl is a bit older, so he's moved off shelves, but you can probably find your Blue Streak, a lot of them. He's the only one with painted rims. Huh. Okay. But him at, like, your local Walmart, probably. And this guy, well... Uh, hunt. On, like, hunt, but beware of the issues you can get uh, by looking for this guy. So, uh, that's it for this video, and I think that's it for this mold. I don't know where else they can go with it, and I kind of hope they don't. Cause I'd like some different car formers, please. And thankfully, we're getting different car formers with C, with uh, Uprise. Earthrise. Because you're getting like a freaking wheel jack, a cliff jumper, hoist, like unique car molds, which would be nice. But they'll inevitably get repaints because that's just how Hasbro works. If it worked once, repaint it. It'll work again. Even if it doesn't fit the character, who cares? ROI. But thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. I don't know where I've gone with this video, but until next time, keep it weird. Bye!